everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome back to part 21 of my Black Widow challenge. Last we left off, Veronica had killed her fifth and final husband after a very impromptu and slapped together wedding, and now she's just sleeping it off. And I apologize to everybody for uh, not uploading in the past week. I was actually on vacation, so that's why I didn't have any videos out, but I'm back and I will be posting on my regular schedule. So um, I'm actually going to be doing something that was suggested by one of my regular viewers, uh, Croncy, Croncy, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but she had a great suggestion, which was before Veronica dies, which I imagine will be happening in this episode, we should marry Aurora because she's been with us for so long and she's our one true love. So why have we not married her yet? In Veronica's eyes, you know, she doesn't see marriage as anything that's like, you know, actually romantic, but I think she would like to do that for Aurora because Aurora did catch us kind of cheating on her uh, in the episode when she accidentally showed up to our wedding. So um, I'm going to call her over and I'm going to propose to her and we are going to have another very slapped together wedding because I don't know how much time Veronica has left. And we're still cleaning up after the remnants of the last wedding and we're going to be just uh, doing another one right away, so... And then I think once Veronica passes on, we're going to be moving Olivia and Ava out on their own. And I think maybe we're going to be, like, getting a place in the city. Because, you know, they're two young girls. Hello, they need they, they need to have access to, uh, you know, they need to have their constant stream of men. So what better place to get it than in the city? Okay, Veronica, you were supposed to call Aurora over. I like how Ava has not changed out of her dress yet. And, uh... She might as well stay in her dress because we're going to be having this wedding right now, pretty much. After I get engaged to her, of course. Alright, right off the bat, hopefully Aurora's not still mad at me. Oh no, I can't propose. What? We don't have a high enough friendship. Oh crap. Okay, well, I'm going to have to just like, just going to have to make a lot of small talk with her until we, uh, we become friends. I guess our relationship has been pretty physical, so... Yeah, um, and I imagine, you know, after what happened last episode, she's probably not too happy with me. So we may have dropped some, you know, friendship points. It's like the old, uh, the old joke about in The Sims, you just high-five someone enough times until you guys get married. So <laughs> it's not going to be too far off the mark here. We'll have a couple of deep conversations, and maybe that will work. I'll invite her to stay the night just to be on the safe side. That way she doesn't uh, she doesn't leave. Oh, and there's uh, there's Eliza in the back. No one cares about her. Look at Eliza. She's looking at Veronica like, I know what you did. I remember what you did to my ex-husband. Speaking of which, uh, he's still around apparently. Just kind of haunting the place, but I can't actually control him, so... Oh, asked to move in. There we go. As if we don't have enough people here already. Look, Eliza, just like look, Eliza, just by looking at Veronica is just reminded of all the things that she's done to her. And she's like, how did this girl move into my house? I don't even understand what's happening right now. And she brought her daughters with her and now she's moved her girlfriend in too. Or she will be moving her girlfriend in. Hey, Aurora, where are you? Yeah, I still have everything set up because I basically just want to have a very quick wedding. Just reuse the same thing. Oh, look at that. Aurora's just making herself right at home. No, Aurora, wake up. Wake up. I want to move you in. I feel bad. I'm like, Aurora, I know you're very tired, but I have to talk to you some more. We need to get our friendship up, girl. And also, hey, move in. And then, oh, Aurora, no. No, just, oh. We don't have much time, Aurora. I could die today. Okay, wake up. Please wake up. Please stay awake. Please stay awake. There we go. Oh my god, she just gets right back into bed. Please, Aurora, please. Just just enough time for me to be able to ask you to move in. There we go. Oh boy, and if I remember correctly, because uh, I first made Aurora in my uh, Opposites Attract create a sim. That's right, I've got um, Paxton in, but sorry Paxton, you're on your own. All right, perfect. I've got Aurora in, so now these two can just start talking to each other. So I feel bad. A lot of this episode is just going to be these two talking to each other, so I'll probably skip ahead until I'm able to actually propose, which hopefully I'll be able to do before Veronica kicks the bucket. 
Okay, there we go. We're good friends now. Perfect. I can propose now. These two are very tired, so I will propose. There we go. Long time coming here. I don't know if Veronica ever thought this was going to happen. Yay! Aw, this is the one time where Veronica actually, like, feels good about this. Aww. This must be so weird for Aurora. She's like, you're old, and I never age. What is going on here? Sweet. All right, you guys get some sleep, and then we're going to have the wedding in the morning. And Eliza's asleep on the couch, as she should be. <laughs> I almost feel bad for her. She is just having a little bit of a mental breakdown. So much has happened to her in the past, what, like, three days? Her life just went to crap. But we're going we're gonna to ignore her. We're, uh, we're not going to focus on her too much. This is about Veronica and Aurora. So unfortunately, Olivia and Ava are probably going to be kind of put off to the side for now until all this is uh, finished. And once Aurora passes on, then we can focus on the girls. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Veronica Hawthorne's life is coming to an end. Crap. 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 Okay. I know you guys are tired. I know you guys are tired. And, but we need to do this, like, right now. Okay, Aurora's actually feeling okay. Veronica's the one who's not feeling great. All right, girls, you need to wake up, too. I know, like, we literally just had a wedding, like, yesterday, but uh, we're having another one. These girls, they must just be so confused about their lives. It's just their mom at every step, like, every time they see her, she's either got a new boyfriend or girlfriend or husband, and they're just like, we don't know what's going on. At this point, they've been living it with since they were children, so it's normal to them now. Okay, uh, plan a social event. It is 12.25 in the morning, and we are having a wedding. <laughs> but pretty much everyone who's going to be at the wedding is already here, so. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, ah, uh, sure, what the heck. I don't know if Claire's actually going to show up, because, I mean, it is... Almost one o'clock in the morning, but doesn't hurt to ask. And we're just going to have it right here. There we go. We're just going to go with a simple little dress here, just because uh, the last dress was a little bit uh, crazy and huge. And uh, this is just a simple little wedding. So, all right, guys, let's, let's do this. Let's get married. I haven't made any food, haven't made a cake, but... Uh, I need to do this. I need to do this for Veronica and Aurora. I need them to have this last bit of happiness before she passes on. Unlike all the other weddings, this one will not end in just horrible murder. Oh, no, Veronica, what are you doing? No, you're getting married. Get married. My goodness, I know you're old, but like, it is your wedding. Don't go to sleep. Okay, there you go. Sure, if that's the dress you want to wear, Veronica, there you go. I like it. It's kind of cool, actually. Like, Aurora is wearing black, and she's wearing white. It suits them very well. Although, actually, Veronica should be the one wearing black, considering she's the Black Widow, but we'll go with that. Like, I like Veronica's very girly, and uh, Aurora's kind of more punk, and so I feel like this works well. They are so pretty together. Aww. Aww, this is the one wedding I feel really good about. There we go. Gotta get a picture of that. Yay! Alright. Uh, Olivia, you can start on the cooking. You know what? I'll have Eliza do it. I'll have her actually, like, be of some use. Aw, oh, man, you can't make anything, Eliza. What good are you for? You've got, like, no cooking skills. Fine, just make that for us. I'm gonna put you to work and have you actually be useful. Oh, Claire did show up. Great, awesome. Nice to see. All right, I will... I'll say hello to her. This is gonna be probably the last time I'm gonna see most of these people, so I might as well. Alright, let's just spend our time with Aurora and we'll be all lovey-dovey and 
sweet, profess undying love. Veronica's actually going to be super romantic. Oh, I, I just, I love these two so much. Oh, what's, what are you doing? You're reading a book. Like, I know that's very, that's a very typical thing for Olivia to do, but you need to be downstairs with your family, girl. This is like the last time we're all going to get together like this. Oh my God, Eliza, what happened to you? Jeez. Well, thanks for cooking the food anyway. Appreciate it. On the plus side, uh, Eliza, you're going to be able to have your house back pretty soon. We're all going to be moving out, so you just have to put up with this for a little bit longer. Ah, uh, what the heck, I'll have Ava make us a cake as well. Oh, where are you going? Of course, Veronica's going to bed. Veronica, come on. And I think Veronica should kind of, like, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with everyone. Maybe in a way, just to, like, say goodbye to her girls. It's funny, every wedding, Veronica always ends up in her underwear. It's just very her. God, Ava is so pretty. So is Olivia. Aww. Oh, darn, I can't seem to put a wedding thing on it. Oh, well. How fitting that the uh, the last, last wedding cake for Veronica still gives me a problem. There we go. Both of her daughters have got a hug. And, of course, we have to finish it off with one final fight with Eliza. We're going to wake her up, and then we're just going to beat the crap out of her. It's a very Veronica way to go out. I feel bad for laughing every time I do that. Just poor, I, I feel so bad for Eliza at this point. It's just gotten to the point where, like, it's almost not funny anymore, but it still kind of is. But this will be the end of us picking on Eliza. After Veronica's gone, we'll leave Eliza in peace. Oh, and, of course, we have to have one last... Right? We gotta do... We gotta have some wedding woohoo. And if Veronica goes after that because she is old, if she if she dies from woohoo, I feel like that would just be the most fitting way for for her to go. Sorry, Aurora. I know Veronica's a little rank, but you can do this last bit for her. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Aurora was stuck for a second. Please let Veronica go out this way. I would be so happy. <laughs> and you know what? I think I should probably make the most of my time. I'm going to have Ava call someone over as well. Um, I'll have her call Richard over. And maybe uh, he'll be her first, uh, her first prey. Uh, so I can't remember if I mentioned in the last episode, but I think I have confirmed or I have decided that I will have it so that Ava seduces the men. And Olivia, being the mastermind she is, she will be in charge of killing the men. Because I feel like if I do it any other way where like they're both either fighting going after the same guy or something could get a little messy and a little confusing but uh, thank you to everybody for the suggestions about how to do that but that seemed to be the most popular suggestion was Ava being the uh, you know the seducer Olivia being the mastermind and that was kind of the way I wanted to do it as well so oh okay he just walked right in and he is angry okay come back where is he going Richard come back where are you Ugh, okay hold on let me soothe the beast here. 
Ugh, what is it with people coming over to my place and knocking over my garbage? So rude. Really? You turn her down? Look at her. You should be... You should be so thankful that a girl like her is coming after you. Wow. Maybe, uh... I was like, maybe I'm not going after the right person here. Wow, he's being so rude to her. Alright, I'll, I'll go a little bit more, but if he's not... Oh, there we go. Wedding completes. But if he's not biting, then maybe I'll move on to the other old guy that came over. All right, there we go. He's in a little bit of a better mood. Ava has a good has a way of kind of like putting people at ease and you know making them feel good. She's learned from the best. All right, let's see what everyone's up to. Olivia sleeping. Aurora sleeping. Veronica, sl Veronica, what are you doing on the couch? You should be sleeping with your bride. Silly girl. There you go. Ooh, Ava, he's on the couch. Now is a good time to kind of, uh... Oh, 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 oh no. Here, sh here we go, guys. Veronica is passing on. Oh no. Oh man. This is it. The end of an era. Oh, That's so hard to see. But I am very happy that we managed to get the wedding, like, done when we did, because we, we managed to do it just in time. Aww. Eliza's just like, I, I hope you're not expecting me to be sad about this, because this girl has made my life miserable. Aww. Ava, where are you? Come on. Oh no, Ava's not here to, to be here. Aww. It's hard to see, though. Even Eliza can't help but cry. She understands that Veronica was just better than than her in every way. And as much as I want to, like, try and plead for her life, that's not the way this gate, this uh, the series goes, unfortunately. Oh man, oh man, and just like that, she's gone. Ah, well, we knew it was going to happen this episode. It's still rough, though. Okay, we'll engrave it, and then we'll release her. Ultimates. I can't spell. Willack. Widow. Because she managed to get six weddings in. Five deaths, six weddings. Well, no, you know what? She actually got more than that because she killed the... The babysitter, the two babysitters, I believe. So she's actually has the the biggest death count so far. All right, release the spirit to the netherworld. Ava's showing up a little late. She wasn't even here for the whole thing, so we'll have her mourn a bit. She hasn't really had that mourning process yet. Yeah. It's a very complicated relationship that the girls had with Veronica. Yeah. Alright, you two need to lean on each other. Man, Ava's taking this really hard. Aw, there they go. There. At least they have each other. Look at that, as soon as Olivia comes in, the two of them are just instantly feeling a little better. All right. Well, I mean, unfortunately, in this episode, these two probably aren't going to be seducing anyone because they're feeling pretty crappy. But uh, we will be moving them out into their own place. I think uh, we've had enough of this house. This house, uh, there's a lot of not so great feelings here. All right. So we'll get this family... Uh, kind of separated here. We'll uh, move Ava and Olivia out on their own, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of crying in this episode. Alright, so uh, what I decided to do when I uh, split up the household is I figured that 
Ava and Olivia are going to kind of start from scratch. They're not going to get their mother's, uh, like, her vast wealth. We'll say in a weird way, maybe maybe all the money was given to Eliza by the courts for uh, emotional damages or something like that. So now Ava and Olivia are starting with, all, you know, the regular amount of money that anyone else would get. So I just moved them into kind of this like fixer upper little uh, apartment and they're going to have to start from there. And they're going to kind of have to make their way in the world. It's kind of a harsh... You know, starting from, like, a decent amount of money to now they have to strike out on their own and make their own wealth, but so be it. It'll make it more fun that way. That's the whole point of the Black Widow, right? It's not as fun when they already have a lot of money. The whole point of them is to, you know, make their own money. All right, so let's check out their place. This is actually my first time having one of my families move into an apartment, so we'll see how it goes. So yeah, it's like not the greatest place to start, but it's an you know we can work with this for sure. It's actually it's not too bad. It's a really nice little balcony too. So they're just gonna be crying the whole time anyway. So I mean I'll definitely be doing some some fixing up here, but we'll just leave it as is for now. I just love that they're in, like, their really nice, elegant clothing and kind of a dumpy apartment. And I did remember to bring Veronica's urn, so I'm going to put that out somewhere. Oh, I think that's actually in Olivia's. Yes, there we are. I was tempted to put it in the living room, but I felt that might be a little strange, so we're just going to put it in one of the bedrooms instead. I don't think I actually grabbed Dahlia's, but these two didn't really know Dahlia. Like, they probably just heard about her from Veronica, so they don't really have any sort of emotional attachment. So, they just gra grabbed Veronica's urn and they got the heck out of there. Oh man, this is so sad. They went from, like, such a beautiful home to, like, just kind of, like, now all of a sudden in such a short span, they're just alone now. They just have each other. I'm like, maybe I should get these two. I'll attempt to have them maybe go out and just, you know, go out to the market and meet some people. They're not going to be at their most social, but uh, yeah. We'll let them get some sleep first, though. Ugh, I didn't realize just how crummy the kitchen was until I got close to it. Ugh, I can't wait to start, like, redecorating this place, but we got to get some money first. I gotta be careful, because I don't want to get Olivia or Ava's uh, cooking skills up too much. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's actually happy. Yeah, like I was going to say, I don't actually want to get their cooking skills up too high, because I do want to try and kill, you know, at least one guy, maybe the first one, with um, uh, the pufferfish. Because I do have to get Olivia's cooking skills up to 10, but if I get her level up too high, then there's no way she's going to be able to kill anyone with it. And preferably, I would like to try and get Olivia to do as many of the murders as possible, since that's kind of her part in this. Come on, Olivia, you're supposed to be the, like, less emotional one, and yet Ava's the one who's shaken off this death so much quicker than you. Oh, and I forgot, with Olivia being a um, kleptomaniac, maybe she can just steal things here and there, and she can kind of subsidize herself that way until... Because the point is, they're not supposed to have jobs, but I don't count stealing as a job. So she can swipe things here and there, and we can sell those. And Until we actually have a man in here giving us money, that's kind of how they're going to survive. That's what we'll do, is Olivia will be the one she will be murdering, and she'll also be stealing to kind of, like, keep them afloat. And then Ava is in charge of finding a guy and just getting all his money. They're the perfect team. Alright, well let's have these two change into their party outfits and we're going to head down and we're going to uh, try and meet some people. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a good thing Ava's the one who's going to be doing the talking because, uh, yeah, Olivia's feeling pretty crummy. That's alright, Ava's the one who has to be like the kind of social one, so. Uh, let's see... 
I would have liked to have these guys in the fashion district, preferably, but I've got them over here in the spice district. Maybe they'll move their way up here, and then eventually they're going to move to the uptown. Maybe that's kind of where I'm going to try and have them end up. Um, yeah, sure, we'll have them kind of stay within their neighborhood. I'm debating whether to keep them, like, in the big city the whole time, or eventually have them move out to, like, the suburbs over time, but we'll see. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Oh, karaoke contest night. That means there's going to be a lot of people here, but so far, it's a little bit of a clam jam. Don't really see any dudes here. Well, who would have known Olivia was a little singer? She just immediately went for the, uh, for this. She's actually not bad. You can't hear her because this girl is just rocking out over here, but... Alright. I'll let Olivia go and do that if it makes her feel better. Seriously, though, where are all the dudes? Oh, there is a guy here. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just pause. Let's pause and let's appreciate. Let's take this in. Oh my god. And this guy, I think he's coming right for Ava. This guy has swagger, if anything. he He's looking like this. He sees a girl like this and he's like, yeah. Yeah, I can handle her. Look at, he strut right up. My goodness. Okay, I take back what I said about Olivia being good. She is not good. Oh boy, okay, now people are coming in. Oh, that's, uh, that's Gavin. That's, uh, that's one of the guys that I think Dahlia was going after, like, way, way, way back when. But I am interested in this guy's story. Let's find out some more about this guy. Let's ask about his career, and we'll ask if he's single. Oh my god, I really want this to be Ava's first, like... She figures she'll aim low because she can only go up from there. She's kind of like testing the water. So she's like, I gotta go with someone I know I can seduce. Oh, he's an internet personality. Wow, okay. And he's single. All right. That's actually a pretty cool job. This girl's kind of getting like in my, you know, in my business here. I always make the mistake of, like, going to the karaoke place because you can barely hear what anyone is saying. Okay, I want to know more about this guy. Get to know. Oh, okay. Ava's already learned. He loves outdoors, he's a glutton, and he's clumsy. Oh my god, why is everyone in here? Leave me alone. <laughs> it's so packed in here. All right. Okay, Olivia's met someone, it seems like. She's just like, she just can't jump into it like Ava can. Ava's able to kind of turn it on and off. Oh, and there's Bella. You know what? Maybe I'll I'll talk to Bella because I think I mentioned in one of the comments, like or in one of my videos, is I'm I kind of want to go after Mortimer Goth as like my last guy. So we kind of get in with uh, Bella first, and then she introduces us to her husband. All right, it's a little crowded in here. Why don't we go uh, go talk to our dude here? <laughs> Nabuya. All right, Ava. There we go. And immediately, see, she was uncomfortable. She was all sluggish walking in, and as soon as she comes in, she just turns it on. That's what we'll say. That's why Ava is so able to kind of like go from from being very, like, sad about Veronica to kind of being happy? She has to. She has to be charismatic. She has to be able to turn it on. Whereas Olivia, she not so much. Maybe she's kind of, like, in in her own head a little bit more. So she isn't able to recover from things as quickly. Oh, there's Lily again. She always seems to show up wherever we are. And look at Olivia, she's just drawn to her, isn't she? 
She just can't help herself. Lily's just so cool. Maybe, uh, maybe Olivia will seduce uh, Lily. I don't know. Because the thing is, like... Olivia, I want her to have some sort of relationship. I don't want her to just be completely off to the side and not, like, be with anyone. I want her to have someone. So maybe she'll have... Maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Oh, there's Kara again without a t-shirt. Jeez. Ooh. Olivia and Kara, maybe? They do know each other already. I do have to put a shirt on Kara at some point. What do you... What do you guys think? Do you think uh, do you think Olivia should have a you know a relationship like an actual relationship and should she have a boyfriend? Should she have a girlfriend? Kara, Lily. Oh, and there's Aurora. Well, at least Aurora's kind of getting out. She's still probably feeling a little crappy. That would be so messed up if like Olivia ended up with Aurora, her mother's like ex-wife. Or her mother's widow, I should say. They never actually ended up getting divorced. They are about the same age. Like, Aurora is still technically a young adult. Aw, she's still sad. How, like, how weird would that be if, like, you know, Aurora and Olivia, they're both really upset about Veronica. They drink a little bit and then they just end up, like, you know, having a one-night stand or something. I don't know. These two seem to be hitting it off a bit. Oh, Lily's unflirty, though. Maybe that wouldn't be for the best. But then again, Olivia's kind of unflirty as well. Oh, and Lily's a genius, too. It's like Olivia. They're both, like... They're both geniuses. They're both kind of, like, not really very flirty. In a way, these two are really meant for each other. Alright, Ava, where did your, uh... Where did your guy go? Where did where did your hunk guy go? I guess he left already, didn't he? Alright, maybe these two should head home. It seems like Olivia is not really having a very good time. Ava's having a pretty good time, but like she's not gonna She's going to go home and be with her sister. Well, we did meet someone at least. I think these two need to have a little uh little bit of a break though. It's been a it's been a really long day like their mother did just pass. But you got to do what you got to do with the Black Widow challenge. You got to pull yourself together and you got to get out there. Man, look at her. Ava's already feeling pretty darn good. I mean, she's feeling good before, but I thought maybe it would just be like a temporary thing. But no, she's, she's feeling pretty good. Olivia, not so much. Olivia, we're going to have to kind of, you know, make take care of her, make sure she's doing okay. But um, I think I'm going to probably wrap it up here. I mean, we did have quite a lot happen. We had, you know, the last wedding. We had Veronica passing. We've got these two moved out on their own now. So... I think I'm probably going to have Ava invite over uh, that Nabuya guy or whatever his name was. Uh, basically my favorite guy so far. I just love his like whole aesthetic. So I'm probably going to, you know, have them go on a date and we are going to start the uh, the seduction process and start getting these weddings on underway because, I mean, time's ticking. So if you guys want to see how that turns out, stay tuned for the next episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, bye.